for good or for bad. No city services in here. Babushka is going somewhere. People are having fun riding from the hill. Oh, they're filming something. I stopped by the jam stall. Let's try some Russian jam. Jam stall lady was so freaking cute. She gave me to try everything that she had and everything was so delicious. It's her own production. She had jams and fruit chips. Really, she gave me to try uh, like uh, lingonberry jam, like jam from IKEA. And she said, oh, people say it's like from IKEA. I tried it and I told her like, girl, this is better than IKEA. Your things are so, so delicious. <laughs> so I bought three jars of Russian jam. Oh, cleaning the snow operation. And yeah. If you're going to travel to small towns in Russia, trust Russian babushkas and buy something from them because they know what they're doing. I'm really glad to support local economy because I see that it's a bit low season right now in this town. So I'm really glad I'm staying with the family and I rent a house from them. And then I bought some souvenirs and then I bought jam from the lady. This is a church I was going to go. Not every church in Suzdal are proper working. Many churches in here, they work as a museum, but they are so old, so you cannot burn candles in there and uh, you cannot do religious work in there. You can visit it only like a museum. You can see that people are holding bottles with water because water today is holy. Russian Orthodox Church, it's not the easy one. You have to know and learn a lot of church rules to follow Orthodox religion. For instance, you're a simple Christian Orthodox person in Russia. You live your daily life and you create a lot of sins during your modern life because it is what it is. You cannot be a holy person, right? So you have to go through process or forgiving signs, which we called as prechastia. Prechastia process is when you eat a piece of bread and wine with water, which is symbolized of flesh of the God. So you became united with the God and 
the God lives in you now. To be allowed to make Prochasty a process, you have to confess your sign to the Godfather. For example, drinking alcohol during fasting period it's a sign. So you have to go to the church when it's Ispavid. Ispavid is when you're telling your signs to the Godfather. And you have to confess all the bad things that you have done recently. You really need to apologize about bad things. So only then Godfather will forgive your sins and you will be allowed to reunite with the God. I came to the four star hotel right now i will get a lunch actually i wanted to come here yesterday because they had an epiphany ice plunging they had this crazy ice bathing in here yesterday but it was so cold yesterday we had a snowstorm with severe winds so yesterday i didn't go this restaurant is pretty fancy look how beautiful it is there is a drawing on a ceiling, so beautiful, and serving of the table also very nice. This is my herring under the fur coat, looks pretty fancy as well. This restaurant is a bit pricey, but it is four-star hotel and resort. No joke, this herring under the fur coat has red caviar and bits of black caviar omg it is so fancy and delicious if i can describe what i feel right now i am hypnotized i want to close my eyes and enjoy this taste i paid three dollars to get inside to the territory of this hotel they gave me the map over here so they provide immersive experience of visiting old style Russian town. There should be music from the Game of Thrones. <laughs> We're going to the Winterfell for sure. Is it a snowboat? You know, when you go to the summer vacation, you ride a banana in the ocean. <laughs> but here in Russia, you can ride a snow banana. They call themselves Echo Hotel. They have karaoke bar. Banyas, kids room, sport equipment, master classes and etc. Ooh, if you're in love, it's place to hang your love. Wow, it is the nicest snowman I ever seen. It is Banya snowman. Why oh, is so cute? This house is not a hotel room house. It is a banner. I think I can be easily a tourist influencer. I can be a Russian travel ambassador. Because after my trips, after my observation, you probably want to visit all of these places. This is so cool. Again, music from the Game of Thrones. This is Winterfell Castle.
Mr. Rabbit. How are you doing? Ooh, you're so big. They are bigger than a cat. Oh, wow. This one is so fluffy and cozy. Hi, friend. You're so pretty. Oh. This is a white princess. She's so cute. Guys, I finally found ice bussing hole. So this is banner number one. They have some customers in there. So you need to go down and enjoy the icy water. Ooh, it is very cold. This is how sick the ice is. I actually want to try the water. <gasps> it's freezing. Yay! Finally, I found a Epiphany Ice Bath in place! <gasps> yes! So here is a changing room. You can change your clothes and go swimming. It is so, so crazy cold, guys. Oh, it's frozen already. Ah! Oh, guys, I'm not that brave to plunge in the icy water. Maybe next year, if I prepare better, I will think about it. I left the hotel and I have a serious complaint about this service because when I was taking picture for you guys, administrator came to me and she said, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. I was like, I bought a ticket to visit territory of hotel. And she said, no, you bought a ticket to visit an old town. I was like, no, I bought a ticket to visit all territory of hotel. All people were super friendly in this hotel, in the restaurant or people outside who do maintenance. But this lady and the receptionist, they were so, so unfriendly. She told me like, it's a river and it is a bridge. What if it will move and you will fall down to the water? And I was like, wait a minute, you created this place? You created this ice bath? Why it is not safe? your hotel created this place for people to take an ice plunge why it should be unsafe to stay on the ice stupid right so in the end she told me to get out so very good I want to give this place almost highest of my personal rating because 
people that I met here to so wonderful. I remember a wonderful lady from the museum. My house owners are so nice. Then ladies from the restaurant. And then today's babushka with jam. OMG, so cute. But only one place wasn't that friendly today, right? But it's okay. So I will give Suzdal 9 out of 10. And I really want to come back here when it's a bit warmer and more greener like summertime. And I highly recommend you to visit this town as well if you will ever going to visit Russia as a tourist. I want to remind you guys that the best way to support my job and my channel is send me a super thank you hardship sticker. Also, you can subscribe to my sponsorship program. Also, there is a PayPal link down below. If you don't want to subscribe to anything, you can easily watch my other videos on my channel because they are very cool and interesting. Thank you guys so much for staying with me until the end. Now, I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye-bye!